Hey folks, this is Lonzo of the Godfather of West Coast Hip Hop. Now I bet you some of y'all didn't know I had a book out, did you? Well I do. NWA, Not Without a Lonzo, available on Amazon.com, $14.95. But also, there is a comic book, limited edition comic book, Hip Hop Family Tree, featuring yours truly, Lonzo in the middle, Dr. Dre and Yella, limited edition, only available on my website, LonzoWilliams.com. Now, if you want both books, the Hip Hop Family Tree and NWA, both of them, 30 bucks. Go to my website, LonzoWilliams.com. In the comments, put your name and what you want me to say, I'll autograph and make sure it gets to your house right away. Both books, 30 bucks, autograph, LonzoWilliams.com. And if you like me, you don't have time to sit down and read like I'd like to, but I love audio books. That's why I put my book, NWA, Not Without Alonzo, on audio. That's right but it's available only on CD Baby. Why? Because I set every track, every story to music. So as you riding down the street, listening to the stories of West Coast hip hop, you got some fresh new tracks to bob your head to. Available only on CD Baby, NWA, Not Without Alonzo. Check it out, folks. Give you something to ride to. Peace. Like I told you earlier about Prince. Prince lost his stage name. The crazy part that is, crazy part about that is, his stage name is his true God-given name. Prince's name is Prince Rogers Nelson. That's, but his, his stage name is Prince. When you sign a contract, you give people the right to use your stage name, your state, whatever it may be, Vicky Love, uh, so, or Myra J, whatever the case may be, that you give them that right. And depending on... Um, what the contract says, you give them the exclusive right, which means you can't use it no place else. And that's why when Prince got into it with his record company, he created that little crazy ass symbol because he couldn't use his God given name. Couldn't do it. You got people, now you, you have, um, you have a middleman between you and your money, which means people think the music business is about the music business. It's not, all only about the music business it's about money check this out you ever heard the story about mcdonald's what they tell you about mcdonald's is not about hamburgers mcdonald's is about land same thing with the record industry record industry is not so much about music it's about holding on to the artist's money long enough to invest it and paying them with the interest If you got Michael Jackson money, Michael Jackson goes gold in the first, I gotta use Michael because these are the people that everybody knows. Michael goes, Michael goes, get, Michael would go gold in three days. Gold was a half a million records. Half a million records, keep the number, to keep the numbers real simple, is uh, $5 million, okay? They may have given Michael $2 million as an advance. By the end of the month, Michael is platinum. 10 times uh, uh, a million is $10 million. Michael won't get a check until six months after this record is released. Six months after the record is released, he will get his first royalty check if he recouped. Okay? So now, in the meantime, all that money is accumulating interest in an interest-bearing account that sits there for the record company. So, and then when it comes to the six months, they're only gonna give you a portion of the money that you're owed. They're not gonna give you all the money that you owe. They have, they call it a reserve. A reserve would be up to 30%. So if they owed you 10 million, they're only gonna give you 7 million. So that's 7 million. You won't see that 7 million, the other, the 30%, the rest of the 30% until the next pay query, which is six months away. Meanwhile, you just still selling the records. You still getting the interest. You don't get none of the interest. You only get what you earn from the record sale. So all this goes on on a regular basis, folks. It's not only about the music, it's about the money. So you have to understand the game that you're playing. So as you play in the game, you understand why people play it the way they do. Someone controlling your music and your career. Um, I've always been an independent artist for the most part. I like being independent. That's always been my thing. Uh, Anytime my records slow down in sales or K Day stop playing my record back in the day, I just go make another one. Didn't have no release dates, didn't have any specific times when I release a record. 
Whenever I felt a record needed to come out, I would drop another one. I wanted an album, I do the album. Well, when we got signed to CBS, everything changed. CBS, Sony, the same thing. We got signed to CBS, everything changed. Although I had a studio, I had my own money to produce my product, I'm an exclusive artist to, to uh, CBS Records now. I can't drop a record when I get ready to. In fact, I got to wait until they tell me when I can drop a record. When we did our first record deal with CBS. Uh, we did our deal in November. They didn't pay us until uh, January. We went and did the album, but because we were signed to uh, CBS, Sony, whatever the case may be, we were on the same, same label as Luther Vandross, Tina Marie, and a few other heavy hitting artists. And although we had a release date that was scheduled prior to that, uh, somehow or another, Tina Marie album came out, we got bumped. Then we got bumped. Then we got bumped. Our album didn't come out till July of that same year, 87. Hip hop moved so fast, especially back then. Every dance record we had, every dance we had, the fly, whatever the case may be, was already come and gone. And our whole style of music had come and gone. Your money is what they really want. If you can sell three, four million records and they can hold that money uh, for five, six, eight months and interest on five, six, eight, or five, six million dollars, depending on where you put it at, could be a half a million dollars. So if, you, if they get the interest like that and you got it for multiple artists, you, everybody's bought out of control and you wonder why record companies have some kind of, had the kind of money they have. Plus, here's the crazy part. Y'all ready? They have the right in the contract, back in the day they did, to legally steal 10% of the records that you sell. It's called free goods. Free goods are a product that is said they use for promotion. If you're Michael Jackson, I use Michael as, a, as an example because he, he's a great example for me. As an example, if Michael, if Michael sells 10 million records, that means out of uh, 10 million records, they can give away a million records. Michael, you don't have to give away a million records of Michael. What they do is they sell them an extra $10 million that they ain't got to account for that goes to where they want to go. Understand, free goods. That was, a, uh, uh, that was a word that people always thought about back in the day. I got to give you some back in the day so I can keep you up to date right now. Today, y'all are the best situation you could ever be. I know it sounds crazy. You're in the best situation you could ever be, and I'll tell you why in just a few minutes. What is an artist? Most artists think you're just a singer. You think you're just a rapper. Basically, as an artist, you are a commodity. You have to understand your power and your position. You're a commodity. You're a singer or a rapper. You, that makes you a songwriter. If you write your own songs, you are a songwriter. If you produce your own, if you write your own songs, you automatically are a publisher. You automatically. If you write songs, whether it be the music or the lyrics, you're automatically a, a publisher. You're a performer because now you have to go on stage and perform these songs. The best way to, to promote your songs is to perform your songs. You can become a spokesperson for a product. Everybody in this mama got a, uh, got a wine, got an uh, energy drink, got jeans, cologne. If you are an artist, whether you're a singer, rapper, or an actor, you, become, you can become a spokesperson and make more money, or athlete, most athletes make more money off the stage, off the court, than they do on the court. Shaq just made a statement. I saw Shaq made a statement. He's made more money off the court doing commercials than he has actually playing basketball. Snoop is doing this right now. Snoop got more endorsement deals than, any, than anybody I know. He's, selling, he's slinging insurance. He's slinging cars. He's slinging Cheetos, Doritos. He with Martha Stewart. He's hanging out with all kinds of folks. Singing every, he's, he's, a, he's a spokesperson. So you have to understand each one of these situations are, or, or movie star, I forgot about that. If you can become a movie star because of your popularity. And this was a problem for record companies back in the day because what would happen is, like I told you earlier with uh, Chuck Berry and Chess Records, when, in order to promote a record, the artist gets a byproduct 
of celebrity. That celebrity byproduct can be converted and used in so many different ways, a spokesperson, movie star, whatever the case may be, for years, for decades, record companies didn't get any parts of that. They didn't get any part of that money whatsoever, and it kind of kind of pissed people off. So you blow somebody up to be a, a singer, like an Elvis. Now Elvis and the, uh, I gotta use Elvis because he had a special deal. Elvis and the Colonel had a 50-50 deal. Elvis and the Colonel, the guy that discovered Elvis had a 50-50 deal, okay? He got half of what Elvis uh, made. If Elvis liked that deal, more power for him, okay? More power for him. So when Elvis made a movie, Colonel got half. When Elvis sang a song, Colonel got half. Colonel had a vested interest in Elvis. Elvis, well, he, he and Elvis was partners in Elvis. Most, part, most times, it's not a partnership. It's a, different, it's a different relationship, but this right here was kind of unique. But you have to understand all these parts right here, the publisher, the uh, performer, the spokesperson, all these are revenue streams. Now, people have to understand there are people out there that's going to take advantage of you every opportunity they get. This one right here, it's going to be some obvious characters, but it's going to be some characters you may not suspect. 